Hey, hey, hot tubbers. Have you had your hot tub for a little bit now and you've climbed into it recently and you run your hand along the side of the wall and it just feels like itchy, scratchy, yucky sandpaper and you're like, what the heck just happened to my hot tub and why is it ruined? Well, it's not ruined for one thing. That's something I definitely want to tell you and it's something that is a pretty easy fix. And basically what has happened is the calcium in your hot tub or the hardness has dropped out of solution and it's now attaching itself to what Ever it can attach itself to. And so if your hot tub is feeling like sandpaper, the calcium and the hardness have actually dropped out of solution and it is now attached to the walls of the hot tub, the plumbing of the hot tub and the heater of the hot tub. And it is something that we definitely need to get fixed. And one way to prevent that to begin with is to actually, this product here, it's uh, Stain and Scale Control by BioGuard SpaGuard. Uh, it is my favorite. I do believe it works better than any of the other products that's out there. Freshwater has has one by Hot Springs. They have one that's pretty effective too that I really like as well. But if you would do three ounces for 300 gallons once a week, that would keep that from happening to begin with. Super important. I actually consider that as important as oil is for a car. I highly recommend that you're doing that. Now, if you have a saltwater hot tub, you would not need this product and I do not recommend you use it on a saltwater hot tub because you're keeping that hardness below 75 part per million on a saltwater hot tub. But on all other hot tubs. It's a really important product and I highly recommend that you use it. Now you're saying, okay, Jackie, now I understand how to prevent it. How do I actually fix the problem? So one thing that you can do is you can actually get in there and scrub it and it takes a lot of elbow grease, like an astronomical amount of elbow grease and way more elbow grease than I'm willing to do personally. So what I actually recommend is what they call a stain and scale flush. So what I would do is I would take this entire bottle of stain and scale control and I would put the oldest filter that I have because I'm going to destroy it. Put the oldest filter that I have into the hot tub. I'm going to run that hot tub for 24 to 48 hours and I'm going to run those jets as often as I possibly can during that 24 to 48 hours. Every two to four hours if possible, obviously don't get up in the middle of the night. I'm going to take that filter out and I'm going to rinse it really good because what we're doing is we're putting that back into solution and we need to physically remove it and the only way to physically remove it is to catch it in those filters and then rinse them really good. Now you are going to ruin these filters when you do this because it is going to get filled up with calcium and it's going to get filled up with hardness and it just isn't going to work very well. So plan on throwing away the filter when you're done with that but you're going to rinse those filters every couple of hours. You do need to drain your hot tub after doing this and it you cannot let it be in there for longer than 48 hours. After the 48 hours you definitely want to drain the hot tub and then you're going to start fresh. And when you start fresh, make sure you start with your initial dose. It would be three ounces for 300 gallons. The dosages are on the back of the hot tub. So basically it's one ounce per 100 gallons. And then you're going to continue to do that weekly. It's really important that you do that. You can't really do a whole lot about your hardness other than you can do something like a vanishing act that'll actually remove hardness out of a hot tub. It's a relatively expensive product if you're thinking about a chlorine hot tub that you have to change every three to four months. And if you have to do that every single time, that's going to add up really quickly. And that's that's why the state and scale control is a much better option. And it actually does a really good job of cleaning up your hot tub. Now, if you have a hot tub and you're just like, oh, that's not something I'm not doing and I want to start doing it. And then you actually notice that it gets worse, like you didn't have a, a chalky fill on your hot tub and then you started using stain and scale control and now you have a chalky fill. The reason for that is hardness is already built up in the line. And that's actually a really bad thing. It can cause a lot of damage to your hot tub, but it's built up in the lines and you're starting to knock it loose. So in a case like that as well, as soon as it's convenient, I would also do what I call a stain and scale purge. And again, I would just do the whole bottle, pour it in there, let it run 24, 48 hours, clean your filters every couple of hours, run those jets as often as you can. And it's going to clean up your hot tub and it's going to run like it's brand new. You're going to be amazed how much stronger your jets are and how much better everything is working. So, hey guys, if you have any other questions, make sure sure that you grab the seven page hot tub care guide. Links are down below. And as always, make sure you check out this video right over here. YouTube says that's the one you're going to watch and I think you're going to enjoy it because I'm pretty sure that I made it and we will talk to you so very soon. Oh.